All right, guys, this is gonna be a short video because the wind is kicking right now and I'm sure it's gonna ruin my video. Anyway, we've got a 2018 BMW. Um, this is an R1200RT. I've been detailing this bike for a long time and basically every time he goes on a big ride, he calls me to detail it up, remove the bugs, clean it up really well, check for any issues that the bike may have. Uh, this one, all literally all I did on this one is give it a Gary Dean wash method, rinseless wash, and then I hit it with infinite use detail juice one basically everywhere. Clean the wheels really well, front and rear, underneath, um, you know, nothing really to it. It's very sport bike-esque, if you will, as far as, you know, all the plastics and whatnot, very little chrome. So that one's all done, nothing fancy, clean, and a little bit of protection, um, and I say a little bit when you know that infinite use detail juice one is a lot of bit of, of protection. Uh, the reason I said a little bit is because I didn't bother clay bar in that bike. I didn't use the universal clean and prep. Uh, I literally just cleaned it up with a rinseless wash and then hit it with, uh, infinite use detail juice one straight out of the bottle as basically a detail spray to add some protection and gloss and slickness. So that was it. However, this 2017 Harley Road Glide, uh, this is actually, I believe it's a CVO. It's got the uh, 110 Screaming Eagle, so I think this is a CVO. Uh, anyway, it is a Road Glide. You'll notice the uh, fairing, the fixed fairing. on the, the difference between the Street Glide and the Road Glide, if you guys don't know, most of you guys know that I used to have a 16 Street Glide Special. Uh, the Road Glide has a fixed fairing. The fairing does not move, so those headlights are always pointed straight out. Um, inside, the forks are what move. Notice the fairing is straight, forks are uh, turned. So the Street Glide, er, the actual fairing is mounted to the fork, so it moves with you. Um, that's actually what I prefer, but whatever. Anyway, so I pulled the bags off. I cleaned in the uh, back end there. Uh, on this bike, I did use Infinite Use Detail Juice 1, a very, very light dilution. I used a quarter of an ounce to one gallon of water to wash the bike. And the reason I did that is because I didn't want to leave some protection behind because I did the full um, wash and then I clay barred everything. Uh, I did some very minor uh, touch-ups on the chrome with... I actually used the new Universal All-in-One. It actually works fantastic on Chrome. So I used that on all the Chrome uh, that I needed to touch up. I did not do all the Chrome. It looked pretty good. Still had some wear areas here and there. But anyway, wash Gary Dean wash method, quarter of an ounce of infinite use detail juice in the buff bucket, uh, infinite use detail juice one. And then right after that, I dried everything off. I clay barred all of the paint with my Japanese clay bar. And then after that, I wiped everything down, including the chrome with uh, the universal clean and prep, diluted one part product to six parts water. And that removed anything that was on there, but also left behind that primer. And then on the whole bike, including all the chrome, after I did the touch up with universal all in one on some spots, I wiped it down with infinite use detail juice one straight out of the bottle. So it's got a solid layer of protection on it. Great looking bike. Uh, I also cleaned the wheels. Can't see the rear wheel. However, it is chrome. Exhaust, all nice. Sorry about all the, the shade over here. You can't really get a glimpse of how nice the bike looks. Uh, one thing I do that I've seen a lot of detailers not do is I clean all up in here. I literally touch every section. I gotta get a couple of streaks off. Um, but I clean all up in there on the frame. Uh, I made sure that that piece right there was all clean and bug free. All of your lower areas down here, um, your engine guards and that kind of thing. I make sure I clean all that. Also get the really, really good cleaning done on the, re on the wheels. And the brakes, that's important. Uh, the, the biggest thing about these baggers that most people don't do is pull the bags off 
not only clean the underside of the bag, but the inside of the bag, but also all inside there where the rear wheel is, you got to get that clean. You have to get the suspension, the swing arm, all that stuff has to be clean or don't do it. What's the point, right? So you'll notice everything looks fantastic. So that has been uh, 2018 BMW R1200RT and a more of a complete detail on this 2017 Harley Davidson Road Glide. So check me out on Instagram, gary.dean.35. That's G A R R Y if you don't know. Uh, also, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. You want to hear more about the new One system and this Infinite Use Detail Juice One product? That's where you go to figure it out. Or you can contact me directly, 813 846 4406 is my cell. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and have a wonderful day.